about all of you, but this winter has seemed to drag and drag by. I am ready for spring, and today I'm going to be bringing you five of my favorite spring products. Hello my friends and welcome into a very special video today because not only am I going to show you what I love to kind of zhuzh, is that a word, zhuzh up my routine for spring, but also this is a collaboration and it is a big one. There are eight of us doing this video. So if you go by and you check out each lady that's doing this, you're going to at the end have 40 products that work great for spring, which I think is really cool because I know I'm gonna watch all of them and I'm gonna be taking notes. And so I'm excited to be doing this video in collaboration with seven other gals here and Miss Kimberly from Pretty Over 50 put this collaboration together and she was the one that had the idea for springtime favorites So we have her to thank for this But the other ladies that are involved and I'm gonna get my spectacles on and I'm reading this so that I don't forget anybody uh, We have Kat from Cat's Eye Beauty, Lisa from Lisa Monique Beauty, Bobby from Mindful Beauty, Mel C's Makeup and Lifestyle Mel is on that channel, Tamara's Timeless Beauty, that's Tamara Kimberly from Pretty Over 50, and Kathy's Easy Beauty, and that's Kathy from that channel. So these ladies and I have a couple things in common. Number one, we're all over 50, and number two is that we absolutely love makeup and beauty. A lot of these channels will go and dive into lifestyle, some fashion, some home, different things that interest them. Some of it is diet, some of it is, you know, just lifestyle, keeping fit, that kind of thing. So when you go and you see these ladies, you are going to see a very, wide spectrum of views and they all have different skin tones or different needs for their skin maybe dry oily menopausal that kind of thing so you're going to get a very wide variety today which I think is really fabulous I am not going to take time to talk about each of these ladies individually I will have to admit that a couple of them that I wasn't subscribed to that I am now and that I really have been enjoying a couple of the other ladies for quite some time too now so i hope that you do get a chance to go over and show them some love don't forget to give them a thumbs up on their videos if you enjoy them and make sure that you subscribe for any of their future content now if you are here for the first time in my channel i am so thankful that you're here a special welcome to you i hope that you do enjoy this video today and that you do give it a thumbs up please that always does help me and of course, my longtime subscribers, I am so overjoyed that we just hit 60,000. I can't even believe that. I'm so excited. So thank you all for supporting me for such a long time. And let's get into what's all about springtime and makeup. Okay, to begin with, this is actually kind of a preparatory step before you do makeup, but for me, it's an essential. And that is my Lumify Drops. Now, I have been using these for a few years now. My friend Penny from Penn Smith Skincare, she originally kind of turned me onto it and I was so excited about it because I wear contacts and by the time I take them out at night, my eyes are red, they're tired. I need a break from, you know, wearing contacts. And lots of times lately with menopause, I am telling you, I get woken up like five or six times a night with the night sweats. In the morning when my eyes look like they have major veins through them and troughs of veins through them and super red, this is a lifesaver for me. And make sure that if you do wear contacts that you just put them in you wait 15 minutes and then you can put your contacts in and it's completely safe for contact wearers. Now, I have also developed sensitive eyes probably the last 10 years or so and I'm sure that's from wearing contacts and this is okay for sensitive eyes as well. It doesn't bother me. But if you do have very sensitive eyes, you might wanna just put one drop in one eye to make sure that it's not going to, you know, irritate your eyes or anything like that, but I've never had any problem like that. And I really haven't heard much about that being a problem for most people, but yeah, these are great. They make your eyes just sparkle. The whites are so white, like if you want white teeth, you might want white eyes as well. It really does make your eyes pop. So I really have been enjoying Lumify. The second product that I chose is really a group of products. And that is the 16 pan palettes from LA Girl Cosmetics. These are amazing. If you guys have not had a chance to try them and you want a high quality eyeshadow, but you don't really want to break the bank, these are really, really good. Now, I do have all, I think there's eight of them that have been released. There might be 10. 
Actually, I do think there's 10 that have been released. And these are the four palettes that they have in stock on Ulta.com. And they also have, I think the other six on their website. Um, I think it's LA Girl USA. I'll make sure I link all of this below. The new one is the Main Stage Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. And this is color. It's so pretty. You have this array of blues and greens and purples in here. And they're very cool tone. That's what I love about this palette so much because lots of times when you do get into these, they can be more on the yellow tone. Now, granted, these two right here are a little bit more yellow green, but that doesn't bother me. You can um, go ahead and you know wear this green underneath something and really kind of sheer it out and it is hard to wear those bright bright colors but I love wearing a brighter color on my lid lots of days and then I'll put you know just a shimmer over top of it now this color down here even though it's not super beaming it is a topper and that is what you can do with this that's so much fun so you can take a color like that blue color put it across and then just swipe one of those other colors across it and you make just a beautiful color this kind of looks like a turquoise green a really light turquoise green and these colors are amazing they have the most pretty pigments to them i mean all of them are hyper pigmented so beautiful i love that about them the um, mattes are super creamy if you have been having trouble finding mattes at the drugstore that are so good or creamy and you can't use them that much these are creamy and they're just lovely lovely shadows and then you have these metallics that if it's not an overlay like this one down here that i showed you then you've got ones that are hyper pigmented and super metallic but with no glitter and i love that that. that is one of my pet peeves is that when you get into these metallics you can get a lot of glitter I will tell you that you will get some fallout with these that doesn't bother me now with Anastasia Beverly Hills that high-end product you get a lot of kick up and that is normal with any pressed shadows if you're getting a harder formula it's going to have less pigment it's going to be less creamy and so even though they do have the fallout they're a high quality because they have that buttery easy blendability with tons of pigment. So the other one they have right now is the VIP Desert Dream, and that is its pigments right there. Now, I will admit that this one is kind of out of my wheelhouse because of all of these very, very warm colors, but this is the one I'm wearing today. I went in with these three colors right here, a combination of this mauve and then this kind of peach, and then this beige, and then I deepened it up with this brown down here. So that's my eye look today. Oh, and I have this one one on my lid and that's my eye look today and these I love dipping my finger into these is that weird that's weird because they are just a dream they just feel like butter and I just can't say enough good about them I absolutely absolutely love everything about them check out that high pigment again high high pigment absolutely beautiful and I just I'm in love with this formula. That's why I have all 10 palettes minus one, which was just basically yellows, and I couldn't do that one. But yeah, I think that they are really great for the mature over 50 woman because they are so buttery, they blend so well, and they go so pretty on the eyelids. Like I said, I do have this one on my eyelid today, and I don't think that you can see much crepiness or anything like that. I get that sometimes when I have a more powdery formula, but these are great. And the packaging is plastic but it is it feels high-end now are a dream and I would highly recommend picking up any of them whether you go on the website at Ulta I think they have those two new ones in store at Ulta and then they have the LA girl website I do think that they have a few on Amazon as well and I'll make sure that I link those too so now as we're talking about eyes and eyeshadow one of the things that I find that is so fun for spring is not only kind of brightening up that eye makeup and and making you know either your lips or your cheeks or something really bright for spring but i love this idea and that is taking an eyeliner 
that is a color and putting it across your lash line right there across the top. And I have found some really great formulas. Now, this one is from ColourPop and it's the one I have on today. And I'll show you why I absolutely love these. Now I, I have a brown look on today or a neutral look on today because I wanted to wear a really bright lip and I didn't want to compete with that too much. But I love these liners. It's a pen liner and it is a liquid and they're really great. I think these are called the BFF liners. They're really great about how much pigment they give and that you can get a very precise, very thin line. And this is the brown and it is so saturated and beautiful in color. And that's why I love these. They're so juicy and not in a bad way, in a very, very good way. And again, look at the tip on that. So good. And then this one is the blue and I, I think it might be called Sapphire, but I love wearing that across the top of my lashes, just, uh, you know, along the lash line really brightens my eyes up. My eyes are like a deep navy blue. And so if I put just a little blue underneath, you know, and smudge it out just a tiny bit with an eyeliner and then go with a neutral eye and then that liner across the top. I love it. It looks so good. And I will do the same thing with this teal. Now this one is the LA Girl Fine Line and this one is super duper tiny, really tiny. And it's pretty saturated too. Now, I have these three colors in my collection and all you know, this formula and this formula both really wear well through the day. They're going to show up. They're going to be just that little fun pop of color on your eyelid. Now I haven't found a purple. So if any of you know of any purples, because I did try the purple in the LA and I did try a purple from Stila and there was one other, I believe it was from NYX. And I, I just really haven't found the purple that works right because I can't really use like a really pinky purple. I need something that's a little more vibrant but anyway you know the woes of the makeup life but i love this and i love the idea of having that as your pop of color across your eyelids for spring and to brighten up your makeup number four is something that i always do in the spring and that is bring out the bright colors in the nail polish I love this. Now today I have on this one right here. These are my Zoya polishes. If you've been with me for very long, you know that Zoya is my absolute favorite polish for two reasons. Number one, I get on their mailing list and I watch their Instagram and you can get these bottles for like $5. Sometimes you can even get them for three. I think once a year they do have a sale, but they give you a discount of 70%. So they're three bucks a bottle. And these are a very high quality nail polish. I love them. So this one that I'm wearing today, this is going to be a little bit hard to see on camera, but it's just kind of this little metallic shift of pink and peach. And I love this. I did have to put three coats on in order to get this to get to be this color. It's not quite as vibrant as it is in here, but if you wanted this as a topper over top of just like a cream pink or a cream peach, it would give it just a beautiful opalescence on top of it. And I have so many of their opal, you know, colors that really are beautiful metallic colors. I love a good metallic nail polish. I always have. Now the next one that I have is called Millie. These are my little nail clips. I'll make sure that I link those down below too. Basically, I ran out of them for the other ones. But this right here, just you can paint this with the color that's in there. You clip it on the jar. And then when you go to look, you find your nail polish really easy. So genius, right? Okay, this is my favorite purple. I absolutely love it. They have that high, high sheen to them, that high metallic to them. The finish is beautiful. I didn't even use any sort of a topper on these right here. If you do, you're going to get a few more days. Speaking of days of wear, they usually last me anywhere from four to five days before they start to chip or anything. And that is if I wear gloves when I'm doing my dishes. If I don't, then I'm going to get them chipping on the third day. Now my last color is this beautiful bright pink. This has a silver a silver sheen in it. It is a beautiful metallic. This one is called Kiki and it is so pretty on fingernails and I absolutely love it. And everybody that's here visiting, this is Ollie. This is my puppy. He's not even a year old yet. He'll be a year old in August and 
he has been a pill and he visits every single time we do a video and most everybody has seen him grow up and so everybody knows who he is and he will dart in and out of here. I have two others that will dart in and out of here occasionally too. They're old girls, but Ollie's our puppy and he is our new havoc wreaker across the board. So yeah, Ollie says hi everyone. The last thing that I have to talk about is not exactly makeup. I cheated a little bit, but in the spring, one of the things that I absolutely have to do that I love, love, love doing is changing out my fragrance. I am somebody that kind of gets stuck in a rut where fragrance is concerned because I will like get on a kick of something like this whole winter. It has been about Trish McAvoy's number nine, the Blackberry and Vanilla. Oh my goodness, that stuff is just absolutely heaven in a bottle. It is just awesome. And whenever I'm wearing that, I end up getting stopped by somebody. What are you wearing? You smell so good. But I need to change in the spring because that's very kind of a sultry, kind of a seductive scent. And I love wearing it in the winter, but in the spring, I want to lighten up and, you know, be a little bit different. So I have a huge collection of Juicy Couture's perfumes. And last year they came out with Juicy Couture Bubbly, Viva La Juicy Bubbly. I love this fragrance. This one is just... It smells so citrusy and it's just got a hint of floral in there. It just reminds me of bright and cheery and just lovely, lovely notes. I can douse myself in this and still feel like I don't have enough on. Not because it's not potent enough, just because I love the fragrance. I can also smell some berries in here, maybe some raspberry or something like that. I'll make sure I kind of throw those up on the screen here for you guys. But I love this. It is one of my very favorites that I've ever gotten from them. I love their bottles too. I'm such a sucker for their packaging. It's so pretty. And this time with those little bubbles across the bottom, the fake bubbles, and then they have the little bubbles right here. I love their packaging. <laughs> and I just think it's so pretty. And then my other favorite that I have rediscovered this year, because I've had this for quite some time, is Carol, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. This fragrance again, very, very citrusy. I love that about it. It has a lot of notes of fruit in it, but this one, I can definitely smell the vanilla in and there is floral in it too. So this one is more along the lines of, I would love to wear this in the daytime, maybe this one at night. And the other thing I do want to tell you is that the Carolina Herrera will last a little bit longer than any of Viva La Juicy's. That's kind of the only pet peeve I have with this one is that, there's Wally. <laughs> what I do to make this go a little bit longer, and if you have the time to do this, is just put a tiny bit of Vaseline right here on your pressure points, and you can do just a tiny bit right there, and then spray it on there, and the Vaseline holds the fragrance in. Learned that a long time ago. I don't even remember who told me that, but I really love both of these, and so glad that I have them in my collection, and so fun and uplifting for spring. I absolutely love them. So tell me what you do in the spring to kind of zhuzh up your routine and make your routine a little bit more lively. I know that when things are blooming outside, we want to do our spring cleaning and that kind of stuff. And we want to just kind of switch things up and make them a little bit lighter and more fun. And so that's what this is all about. I hope that you did enjoy today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I do hope that you get to go over and see all the ladies in this collab and see what they picked as their five favorites for spring. And thank you again if you're here visiting. And I do hope that you stick around and watch a few of the other videos and decide to subscribe. I'd love to have you here as a part of our little family that we're building. Thanks so much for being here. I hope everybody's having a great day. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.